So here we are. Okay, we will keep on uh, answering all these questions. And uh, you should have like done it on your own. If you didn't do it on your own, it's okay. Just try to check that you know each and every answer to these questions. Okay, so the first thing. What are the types of the values 0 and 0 with like semicolon, the quotation marks? So the 0, this thing, is an integer. Okay, why is it not a double? Because it has not 0, 0.0. If it were 0, 0.0, it were a double. But no, it's an integer. And this little zero with like these quotation marks, this can be a string. There you go. Next one. Which number type would you use for storing the area of a circle? Now when if you remember what the area of the circle is just let me write one here the second one the area of the circle if you remember was area was equals pi times radius squared so just by having pi we know that the value of that pi is usually uh 3.14 blah 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 okay so just by it we know we need we know a double and the answer is that a double let me change the color for the next one that would be why is expression 13 dot print line an error basically because 13 is just a number and a number cannot be assigned to a method, okay? Because 13 is a number. A number, comma, not an object. Okay, exclamation mark. Uh, write an expression that computes the average of values x and y okay we can do it like in thousand ways but we will do it in just a fancy and simple one we will declare as we have an average if you just like no uh, averages averages like all the time have fraction points fraction numbers so just by knowing that we can just write like double average remember the name of the variable should be very intuitive equals to open my parenthesis x plus y this thing over 2 remember because of the heuristic of operations i need to do this inside a parenthesis okay now which are the next things are legal identifiers. So, reading one, this is okay if it is a class. If it is a class. Otherwise, it would be wrong. Okay? You should write that down. G it would work, yes, but it's not intuitive. Void. Now, I'll return to red. Void would work because it starts with a small letter, but this void is a reserved word. So, no. Because it is a reserved word. We'll get to that later, but you need to know that. Reserve word. Next one, 101 Dalmatians. This thing is a very adorable name, but it's wrong, okay? Names cannot start with a number. I want to change colors. Um, an orange will be fine. Uh, numbers cannot. Um, Start with a 
number. Hello world? No. Why not? Mainly because hello works, but it has a comma in the middle of it, and that's not nice, and there's a space, okay? So, because of the comma and the space. Greeting, it's wrong, because of the smaller thing and the bigger than thing, okay? Now, declare a variable to hold your name. Use camel case in the variable. Name. So, for here, I'm going to use my name. You should use yours. Uh, so, I will write uh, here, Rolando. The first one is just like small letter. Remember that. And Batista should go with a big one in the first one. Because of camel case. Just remember here. I'm going to write it down. Camel case. Okay. Next one. Is 12 equal 12 uh, a valid expression in the Java language? The answer is no, because 12, the variable, cannot be a number. Okay? So, sad face. Finally, how do you change the value of the greeting variable to hello Nina? Basically, by doing this nice thing that writing greeting, the variable, equals to hello comma nana once again these questions were like a review for you for you to check where you're standing and that would be all for now